Hi guys, this is Ola from <laughs> DollDivine.com. This is like video attempt number 27 because I keep making my videos too long so I have to try and really keep it kind of short. But this is part one in a, a series of dress up game tutorials. How to make dress up games in Flash. I'm going to try and again really run through this quickly. So in this part I'm just going to go over Flash and how to use Flash. If you already know how to use Flash just skip right ahead to the next section. I'm just going to get right to it. Delete this propaganda. So I've got lots of different windows open and it, I'm sure it looks very confusing and I hope it looks a little intimidating but <laughs> it won't be after you, you get used to it. Uh, if there's any window you see that I have that you want, you see me using that you don't have showing up, they're all under the window panel up top. You just find it here and get it open and you can drag them around, pull them out, stick them in wherever you want, rearrange however you like. In the middle here we have our stage slash workspace where everything happens. Um, in the properties panel, you can see down here I have properties, there's the size toggle and I could change the size. Uh, I've got it set to something really small right now, 300 by 200 pixels because I wanted to shrink my window to make the tutorial look its best, but I generally make my games 800 pixels uh, wide by 600 pixels high, and I set my frame rate to at least 30. Now frame rate, um, FPS, frame per second, is how fast you go from one frame to the other when things move, and this is generally an animation kind of term. Uh, and because Flash is usually used for animations, but this still is important to dress up games because when you drag things, a lot of people like to set their dress up games with dragging. That's an animation when someone's dragging, and if you set this too low, that means as the person kind of drags their clothing, it's going to jerk around because it can only do so many frames per second. So you want to set it to at least 30 because 30 frames per second, if something flashes 30 times per second, the human eye will smooth it out and it won't be able to tell that it's jaggedy. All right, so uh, up here we have the timeline, which is kind of the most important p window, I would say, of Flash. And we have layers. We can put new layers, just like Photoshop, and then delete them. But we also have frames going left to right. And this is usually used for animation, because we can go backwards and forwards through time and animate things. We won't be using it quite in quite the same way for dress-up games, but we still will be using frames, so keep that in mind. I won't get too deep into that now. We'll, uh, most of these things we'll get way deeper into later. I'm just trying to do a quick run through. What else? So Flash is vector based. Now I like to, I prefer to draw in Flash. Um, not everybody does. And I will have a tutorial later showing how you can import uh, files from Photoshop, drawings from Photoshop, and make them into a dress up game as well. That tends to work well, but there's some things you have to keep in mind. But if you're like me, you want to draw in Photoshop, here are some drawing tools. And the drawing is vector based. Now that has some advantages. So I'll take the circle tool and I'll choose no outline. I'll make a pink circle for this dress up game tutorial. More of a peach. Now, if this was Photoshop, how Photoshop would remember this file, it would say, oh, going left to right, we have white, 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 white. Pink, 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 white, 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 next line, white, 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 pink, 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 white, 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 and so on. So the larger your file gets, the more of these squares it has to remember, and the larger the file size is. Whereas with Flash, the way it remembers it instead is it just says, oh, x squared plus y squared equals um, whatever the math formula is for a circle. It's been a while, but... Uh, it just remembers, yeah, that there, there here is this perfect circle and it's this peachy pink color, that's all. So I can zoom in and if this was Photoshop, pretty soon I would be seeing these jaggedy lines from the pixels because everything's remembered in squares. But in Flash, it's a perfectly smooth line no matter how close I zoom in. I know in these uh, tutorials it kind of tends to make it a little jaggedy because the, the video is low quality, but trust me in Flash, this is a perfect line. And the advantage for dress up games is if anyone takes your game and resizes it on their website, it's still going to be smooth because it doesn't have to be the exact size for the pixels to work. No matter what size, it's all remembered in math formula formulas. Looks great whenever. And if you have a printing function, I'm just going to press delete here, it'll print very smoothly no matter what. 
All right. So for drawing tools, they're somewhat similar to Photoshop, except there's two kind of animals in Flash. There's fills and lines. Now if I take the circle tool, maybe I'll take the square rectangle tool to spice it up a little, I can select a stroke color, or slash line color, strokes and lines, same thing, and a fill color, and I can make this rectangle. So it filled it in with my fill color and it stroked it or outlined it with my line color. That's actually kind of pretty. Select it, delete it. Now I can make just lines with either the line tool, makes just straight lines, pretty straightforward, or the pencil tool draws lines. I could uh, select how I want the pencil to behave. If I select ink, I want it to follow my lines as close as I can. Smooth, I want to take a little bit of liberty and smooth them out a bit. Now what it's doing, it's simplifying the shape of the line I drew. So it's simplifying the math formula for that line, which means it'll take less memory. Uh, the game will be smaller. Or I can say straighten, which will kind of like make my lines straighter. And the advantage of that is say you're drawing a house plan, you can make this hideous kind of blobby thing and it'll actually make a nice straight shape for you. So there's advantage, advantages to all these different tools. Or you can draw with fills. You, if you select the brush tool, you're drawing with a fill. And if you have your, a tablet, which I do, this thing pops up, you use pressure, and now I'm going to use my tablet. And if I press lightly, I'll make a small fill, and if I press more, I'll make a fat fill. And I use this a lot. This is great for drawing in flash. Okay, and then I could take my stroke tool and outline things with lines. I can take my fill tool, uh, no, uh, this uh, paint bucket slash fill tool, and I could change the color of the fills, lots of stuff. This is a very basic run through. I encourage you to just dive in there yourself, you know, just open up Flash if you have it, get Flash if you don't, it's a great program, and just start drawing, and just play around, and, and you'll, uh, you'll figure it out because you'll have to <laughs> to follow my following tutorials but we'll go further into depth into all this stuff later so I hope you join me